Revenant. Slug people for, for life. <laughs> I'm sorry, tongues are great for solo play? Come again? Uh, okay, hang on. I want to... Ah, fuck! You selected to... Yes. We're gonna run home quick. I feel like our comple complexion changes every 10 seconds. I mean, I'm sure it's related to the light we're in, but... I forgot we were blonde for a bit. Grid sleeping. Oh, he's not. Just kidding. You're doing stuff. It looks like you're looking at the insides of your eyelids. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak then. Very well, then Tot Haken. Church of Yorshka. Yeah, I knew that's where we were. Hey, Nervar, how are you? It's definitely not Wednesday. Living in the future over here, but whatever. All right, now let's go fight. That was tasty. I liked that. <laughs> that sounds fake. The US government doesn't want to pay anybody for any reason. This message brought to you by my $600. did that did they all like what they all walked away <laughs> okay lightning gem how the fuck do i get up there i can't jump guys this is a game without jumps oh god that sucks boxy yeah and, uh, this afternoon i was like well it will cover our rent because we have two adults taking the same check so, yay! Nice. Magic clutch ring. Are we coming in clutch? Did I read something about $300 a month additional unemployment assistance? That's laughable. That's fucking laughable. $300 a month is like... If I'm not careful about how we grocery shop, that's our grocery bill for the month. Huh? Yay, we get one grocery bill this month. Or we get groceries this month. I can't. To be fair, I've been getting above my station. I've been buying the Kraft macaroni and cheese. I bought, I bought pomegranate seeds the other day. In, you know, in like the little cups where they take the seeds out for you already? I know, that's super bougie. First time I've ever done that. Maybe if I didn't buy so much avocado toast, I'd have a house. I know, super fancy. 
Yeah, Grid's, Grid's got the bill. Grid's been reading the bill. There's also a nice, uh, nice bit about DMCA in there. And about felony time for, uh, having copyrighted music in your streams. I wonder if they'll let me stream from jail. Was not open from the side. Whoa, whoa, macadamia nuts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't know where these bunch of dumbasses just went. Oh, there's a big... There's a big thing. Okay, so we'll have to fall down to that, I guess. Pistachios. There's some, like... I don't know, pistachio ad thing that's going around. It's just, like, the most... It's awful. It's terrible. I don't know what to how to describe it. I keep seeing pistachios advertised, but they're like the sport nut or something like that. And it's just, it's awful. It's awful. Oh, sorry. I guess I never understood the difference between prison and jail. Oh, here they are. This is gonna suck! We did! Well, anything that is described as just nut... No, it's got to be the second word, because, like, nut milk is funny, but I can get around to it, because that's what it is. But anything like blank nut, I'm sorry. I'm on the internet. Like, come on. I just... What do you, what do you want from me? Uh, where were we? Oh, hi, Gibbs. Oh, bye, Gibbs. Huh? Oh, Zeno, Zeno looks like he's melting. He needs a pill. We've been bad about giving him pills. Because I've been... a puddle of mental misery. Have I been eating candy? No, I haven't been eating candy canes. All you, Grid. Ah, uh, okay, so- All right! Move. Please move! Fuck. Okay, so I- I don't know, maybe if I can pull one of them. I just hear tiny crinkles behind me. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, you're pretending to be Gibbs. Oh, making tiny crinkling plastic noises. I'm not trying to sleep, though. Um. I mean, we can throw fireballs now, but the problem is my fireballs don't really do a lot of damage. Poor guy. I almost feel sorry for him. Not that one. Mm. Uh, he he got one hit in, but hey. Really? That's through a wall. Bite me.
and they are just leaving. They're just out of here. They don't give a fuck. Do I have to fight these guys? Okay, they have just too many hits. Oh fuck, I'm not gonna be able to get whatever that pickup was. Move. Fuck! Ah, oh, that sucks. I thought he was going for his sword, not for the, I don't know, purple yak or whatever it was. Am I going to have to fight him again? Probably. Damn. I guess I don't know for sure if I need to fight him anyway. Literally never stopped attacking? That's awful! I mean, Artorius was bad enough. Oh man, I loved the Artorius fight. That, that felt so good. That just hit the spot. I know, they shouldn't be able to do a ranged attack. I mean, at least it's a slow ranged attack, and I'm pretty stupid for getting hit by it, but... But still. Two more! Bite me! Hey, Baker, hello! Thank you so much for the bits! I hope you're doing alright. How was your, uh... thingy yesterday? Your focus meeting or whatever. Nope, uh, that wasn't the right... What That wasn't what you said it was. But I forgot what it was. Town hall, that's it. Where did, I guess I don't get whatever dropped. I guess it wasn't important. I guess it wasn't a key item. All right, well, I'm not going down here. Or no, I didn't even kill him this time. Shit, well, he's in too many. What's this? Did, did he just like come back? Did he reset? I like the shield ones, they're not too bad. <laughs> big mood, Baker, big mood. Liquid Snake Pliskin, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Ministry of Silly Walkthroughs, new friend. All right. I don't... I don't know, I feel like I have to kill that guy. They walk a really long way. Oh. I'm gonna come back up here, bud. So I don't have to fight all everybody. Come on. Really, like, come over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. Attacks through a wall are fine. That makes sense. Oh, that's good. I mean, I hate it, but that's good. I just wanted one, I didn't want five. Like, thank you for the, you know, giving spirit, but Jesus. Oof. Oof. <sighs> All right, I don't think we need to worry about that. Unless somebody wants to argue with me, but speak now and for or forever hold your peace. Let's go upstairs. Because the rest of those uh, bishop-looking guys with their thingies don't seem to... What the fuck is in here? They just respawn, so it doesn't seem like they're important. <laughs> I like the write-ups. I'm always excited. I subjected my poor mods today to a dissertation about It's a Wonderful Life, so... Somebody needs to make me suffer the way I have made them suffer. You did start it, but you didn't, you didn't, you weren't like, hey, Alla, do you have 40 pages on this? I just like rolled up my sleeves. I woke up at like 11, rolled up my sleeves, cracked my knuckles and was like, nope, this is going to be what I think about today. <laughs> I did not expect anyone to read that. It was for me. You know, I just think Mary is the only actual selfless person in that movie. You, you keep trying to, you know, the whole premise is trying to make Jimmy Stewart, you know, this selfless, charitable dude that just is crushed by circumstance. But he's always, he's just motivated by guilt the whole time through. He's never, he's not motivated by any natural feeling of charity. He's motivated by the fact that his father did something that he feels like he needs to stand up to, not stand up to, uh, live up to. And then he's motivated by, you know, frustration that this is what people have expected of me my whole life and I have to live up to that. And he doesn't process any of these feelings. He just continues to give and give and give past what you should take a step back at. And then, you know, you can't you can't fill somebody else's cup until your cup is full. Uh, I, slow down, Ella. Mary, on the other hand, she comes in with her whole her, her whole honeymoon to give away at the building and loan. She takes that whole big ass house, which is not an investment, because she wants to make it better for no reason. Mary is the one. It's not George. <laughs> T-Dog the Rock, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I suppose if you're gonna follow at this moment, you know exactly what you're getting into. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be to be happy what he has, but I think we have this, it's, you know, it's, it's an outdated movie, first of all. And it just doesn't look deep enough, which I can't really ask a movie from the 40s to look deep, as deep as I would expect a movie from 2020 to look. So that's not fair that I'm putting it up to that standard, but... Yeah, and Mr. Potter, at the end, there's no consequences for that. There's no, you, just $100,000, and Mr. Potter just like, there's no, there's no restitution at the end. And I'm not saying every story needs restitution, but that's not, they haven't won. The town didn't, you know, we've, we've, fun we've functionally crowdfunded the janitor that walks five miles to work every morning a shitty car. Like, that's not, that shouldn't be a happy story. That's not good. That's not a feel-good thing. Society has failed them. I'm so sorry. Character build tips? Not what I do. As in, everything that I do, do the opposite. Uh, I am definitely not a Dark Souls expert. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, poor Miles. But, like, the real solution to Mr. Potter... 
are two things that we still, at this point in, the, in our lives, or at this point in, the, in society, don't want to deal with. Solution number one is you have to get personal with Mr. Potter. You have to make Mr. Potter your personal responsibility. You have to invite him to dinner. You have to talk to him on the street. You can't give up on the fact that he's a fucking miserable old bastard. And sometimes you won't change him. But that doesn't mean we have to, we can stop trying. We can throw people away as a society. We can't do that. And then solution number two is to build some motherfucking antitrust laws, which nobody wants to do anyway. Case in point, Amazon. Oh no. I shouldn't have brought this up. See, this is, this is the only, this is how passionate I can, I only get this passionate about pieces of media that I've seen like 60 plus times. And I, want to assure you I have not seen what the fuck are you have not seen the movie 60 plus times I just that was the first that was the second professional professional show I got paid to run and then we did it again uh, last December so I have yeah a different version but you know still the same story so I have experienced this show something like 120 times the Music Man. I fucking hate the Music Man, but honestly, I haven't seen the whole Music Man start to finish, so I can't, I can't dig into how much I hate it. I can only be very, very, very glossy over the top. I wasn't in the Music Man. I didn't do that one because I hated the director so much. He made Annie so miserable. That's probably part of the reason why I hate the Music Man so much. <sighs> these are so weird looking. I don't know what these are. They're probably a problem. Oh, are these stairs? These look like stairs. Oh, yeah, good. White liquid, great. No. Really? They've got a reach. Oh, come on. Oh, well, sure, static. I just simplified it for the basis of argument, since that's not really... Specifically, that part wasn't what I was ranting about. I could make this a longer rant. I could make you suffer worse. Go into this deeper. Why is it so dark in here? Also, what are these things? Okay, my last bit of rant about It's a Wonderful Life, just because I think I'm so funny, is that iconic moon line. Do you want the moon, Mary? I'll throw a lasso around it and bring it down here. Uh, and then she goes, and then what, George? And then what, George? Oh, and then you can eat it, see? And it'll dissolve. And the moonbeams will shoot out your fingers and toes. And like the first part of it's really cute. You know, I'm gonna get my girl the moon. That's cute as shit. And then he's just like, and then you can eat it, bitch. And, and we just have to be like, that's normal? George Bailey is a fucked up motherfucker. That's not romantic. That's bizarre.
And then in the flashback scene, they try to make Donna Reed ugly by taking off her lipstick, and I just don't. Like, why did you try? You can't. You can't make Donna Reed ugly. Babe of the era. Like, oh, she's not wearing lipstick. Oh no, she's not married by 25. Oh dear. Are you kidding me? Self-sufficient college-educated woman working at a library? That sounds great. Go marry. Uh, we've been up there, I think. We, yeah, we were around here, I think. Maybe? I don't remember. I mean, I guess, theoretically, like, abstra in an abstract way, I have wanted to eat the moon, but... I don't know. Where are we going? It's so dark in here, I'm dying. Yeah, also that. He's so uncomfortable in that. He's like, I don't want to get married to anyone, and I hate Bedford Falls, and I'm going to shake the dust of this stupid little town off of my boots. And, yeah, and shaking her, physically shaking her. And she's just like, oh, George. God, I can't. I never understood why he didn't invest in the plastic anyway. Like, I don't get that part. You couldn't have scraped up just a little money from the building loan? Are you kidding? I also love how Mary functionally fixes that house just by herself. You, you, we see her putting up wallpaper. She is so rough and ready. She is... Ah, bite me. Ah, bite you are. You did bite me. That's what you were doing. I want you to stop biting me. Uh, Mary was married, Mary married George, yes, but in halfway through the movie, okay, so the first part of the movie is George's life, Clarence is getting the, the rundown, and then in the middle of the movie, George is about to jump off the bridge because he's worth more dead, dead than alive, and he needs to cash in his life insurance policy in order to save the building and loan, and then Clarence shows him what would happen if he had never been born, and then in that circumstance, Mary is not married to him. Reading this, <laughs> shitting on the script if it's a wonderful life. Oh boy. Uh. And see, Clarence isn't even, Clarence is sent by God and he's not even motivated by true charity. He's motivated by the desire to get his wings. He doesn't give a shit about George Bailey. He doesn't fucking care about Bedford Falls. Clarence is just, every time George has another slide down the hill of mental fuck uppery, Clarence is just like, oh, Joseph, this is much harder to get my wings than I thought. <laughs> like, no part of this movie. Look, Frank Capra had no idea. If you've read the short story, it's very short. It's extremely short. It was It's like a pamphlet-sized story. It, it's a little bit more honest, I think, than the Frank Capra fucking version of it. Who didn't, didn't Frank Capra hate the movie and the experience? Didn't the author hate Frank Capra? Wasn't this just the most miserable experience that anybody's ever had? I also, I feel like Jimmy Stewart was kind of an asshole too. <sighs> but what about a Christmas story? I love a Christmas story. Um, I don't know where I'm going from here. I feel like we just came in the... I, I, I'm a little lost. Send him to Outback Steakhouse. If only. I mean, A Christmas Story is garbage. Again, it's because of theater that I like it. I hated it for so long. My father was one of the ones that, you know, puts the 24-hour Christmas story marathon on on Christmas Day, and then that's where the channel stays for the rest of the day, and I fucking hated it. Hated it so much until, again, I did the perform I did the stage show, and I was billed as a stage manager, but really I was brought in to babysit Ralphie, the kid playing Ralphie, who would disappear under the stage to play with the fog machine, which is very Ralphie. Um... 
And now it's just... I love the mom. She's so obnoxiously manic, and I love her so much. Oh yeah, she is, she is drugged up the whole performance, and you can just feel it. You can feel it. Nice. Um... Let's see. On a Red Rider 200 shot carbine action range model air rifle with a compass and a thing that tells time built right into the stock. I think I still have the script sitting around somewhere. Oh no. I'm really not a fan. There aren't a lot of other Christmas movies that I enjoy. I like, uh, you know, the claymation Rudolph and what are you? Oh, you just keep being invisible. The Claymation, Rudolph, and Jack Frost, and... What were those? It was like one studio that made those, right? What can I call those? Who did that? Oh man, see, uh, It's a Wonderful Life ruined me for the audio mixing. I, I had to turn everything up so high, and it was so crunchy and abrasive the whole time. I don't know if it was a function of Amazon Prime or if it's a function of just the the audio mixing of the movie, but oh my god, it was awful. I never liked Grandma- I never liked anything to do with Grandma got run over by a reindeer because I was always, from, from the age of like two, paranoid that my grandparents were gonna die. I mean, joke's on me, they- they do eventually, but... I didn't like to even consider that as a possibility. Rankin Bass? Huh. Right before I, or maybe right after I moved out and right before I stopped talking to my dad, uh, he was very into Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, which I think is much too old for me. And I believe much too old for most of you. You remember that one, Grid? Thank God. I think it's Muppets. But like, really old Muppets. You love Emmett Otter? Okay, well, I mean, you're still not in the generation where that happened. We're not in the generation where Rudolph happened, but, like... That's, it's fine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disparage your... ...preferences. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, uh-huh. I knew. I knew. Gross. Um... I remember this book that I used to have... Uh, it was like, God, I don't remember what it was called, but it was about a girl whose mom had either died or left or something, and her sing her and her single dad, and her wish for Christmas was to have a mom, and then that made the mannequin in the store come alive, and her dad fell in love with the store mannequin, and then, but on Christmas, she had to be a mannequin again, but their true love made her a real girl forever. I've actually never seen him up at Christmas Carol. I was almost going to watch it today, but fucking It's a Wonderful Life was like three hours long. <laughs> it was horrible. It wa Look, I'm just very, I'm very hyped up about Christmas movies right now. This is the slog that I hate. Oh, maybe Grid and I will watch Die Hard on Christmas Eve. I watched Die Hard for the first time two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. Because last year we kind of had it on the TV, but my stepfather talked through the whole thing, so I didn't really get to watch it. I love reading A Christmas Carol. It's one of the books that I like to go back to every now and then. Yeah, you had that comment ready for me as I woke up, and it was just a mistake. I'm so sorry, everyone. White Christmas, yeah, it's just not a good movie. Like, I love Danny Kaye and Bing Crosby. I love all the parts at Bing Crosby that aren't him beating his family, but... It's not uh, the best movie. But I do love it. I 
I don't know, just the, the fact that they're at a resort makes me feel like it's Dirty Dancing. Obviously it's not, but I don't know why. Some aspect of that makes me associate it with Dirty Dancing. I have to try National Lampoon again. For a long time, I really didn't like Chevy Chase. I don't know why. Probably because Groundhog Day was on repeat on some station that my parents watched all the time. I don't know. What is Wish for Wings that work? Is that a- is that like a movie itself? Is that a... Oh, is he terrible? That's disappointing. I mean, I figured, but... I don't have the room for another Will Ferrell in my life. Whew. Oh, he's not in Groundhog Day? National Lampoon's... Oh, that's Bill Murray! Oh, I'm sorry. See, I don't even know. Where are we? I'm a little lost. Huh. Interesting, Dab. But, uh, please nobody talk to me about Elf. Because I have a... Rather pointless grudge against Will Ferrell. Oh, really? really easy to get inside their guard. That's nice. So actually, these guys are pretty much defenseless as long as they don't have 25 dudes around them. Look, Will, Will Ferrell was rude to Grid once, so I'm done. Also, I don't like any of his comedy. I think it's uncomfortable and not funny. the other one. Wasn't there another one? Oh, there it is. I have come around to Zoolander. Is Will Ferrell in Zoolander? What? Yeah? Oh, well, he's not one of the main characters, right? Oh, he's the bad guy. Oh, he can be the bad guy because he sucks and I hate him. That's fine. Oh, man, I want to go back and watch Home Alone, but I swear to God, if I see Trump, I will kill... Is, is he- his cameo is in two though, right? So as long as I only watch the first one, I'll be okay, right? Okay. Boo. I have a, uh, I made Grid digitize it. I have a VHS tape of The Sound of Music that was taped off of NBC in 1995, because Julie Andrews was narrating, and it comes- it has all the commercial breaks in it, which is half the reason I love it, because I love watching commercials from 1995. And he and Ivanka are in it in like a Pizza Hut commercial when they had the stuffed crust, when they first started to come out with the stuffed crust, pe stuffed crust Pizza Hut where they're eating it backwards. And every time I wish I'd, I just, I haven't watched the VHS tape since. Because I hate it. Yeah, it's very brief and I'm sure he got a lot of money for it and I hate it. Yep, 1995. Um, I don't know which way we should go. Because it was like the even number anniversary of Sound of Music. 
No, I'm sorry. Did I? I didn't. I meant. I didn't mean Ivanka. I meant Ivana, his wife, not the daughter. The wife, not the daughter. I know he wants to fuck his daughter, but the I meant the wife, not the daughter. Ivana. Sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> 